Hello, and welcome back to the Monocry Studio. My name is Dimitri, and today we're going to be going over our new desktop CNC engraver and carver. This desktop CNC engraver and carver is a full DIY kit that does require assembly, and in this series we're going to be going over the entire process of building your new desktop CNC engraver in detail. In the video description, you can also find a timestamp playlist to skip around if needed. Let's get started and lay out all of our components that come supplied with the unit. Take inventory of the package contents to be sure that you have all the listed items. If anything is missing, please contact our Monoprice customer support team for a replacement. Starting with the assembly, let's grab our pre-assembled base of the unit and the Y-axis screw rod with the supplied brass nut and spring. Partially thread the brass nut onto the Y-axis screw rod, making sure that the threads do not protrude out the other end. Now slide the spring over the brass nut and push the screw rod assembly into the Y-axis screw holder until the spring is fully compressed and begin threading the Y-axis screw rod into the Y-axis screw rod holder. Continue threading until the screw rod is flush with the base. Ensure the Y-axis screw rod rotates smoothly. Next, let's grab one of the motor modules and place the Y-axis screw rod into the coupler to connect the motor module to the Y-axis and tighten down the set screws on each side of the coupler. If necessary, you may need to thread the Y-axis thread rod until the module is flush with the rear plate. Note the position of the motor module's harness connector as it should be facing the right side of the unit when looking at it from the front. Secure the motor module using four M3 by 14 screws and ensure the Y-axis still rotates smoothly afterwards. Now, let's attach the left plate to the left side of the base using six M5 by 25 screws. Note the left plate contains the mount for the motor module. Here, we can now attach the two profiles to the left plate using two M5 by 16 screws. Note the two threaded screw holes on the profiles are positioned away from the left plate. After that, let's attach the guide rods to the left plate using two M5 by 16 screws. Let's take our Z-axis module now and insert it onto the two guide rods and ensure that the module is able to move freely. Once that's done, let's grab the right plate and position it so that the horn on the top of the plate faces the front of the unit and attach it to the assembly using 6 M5 by 25 screws. Next, let's take our X-axis screw rod and insert it into the hole on the left plate and screw on a supplied brass nut onto the X-axis screw rod. Partially thread the brass nut onto the X-axis screw rod, making sure the threads do not protrude out the other end. Now, slide the spring over the brass nut and push the screw rod into the Z-axis module until the spring is fully compressed and begin threading the screw rod into the assembly. Continue threading until the end of the rod is flush with the face of the left plate. Next, let's grab the other motor module and place the X-axis screw rod into the coupler to connect the motor module to the X-axis and tighten down the set screws on each side of the coupler. If necessary, you may need to thread the X-axis threaded rod until the module is flush with the left plate. Secure the motor module to the left plate using four M3 by 14 screws and ensure the X-axis is able to rotate freely. Let's now take our motherboard module and position it against the back side of the profiles with the DC connector, USB port, and card reader adjacent to the right plate. Then, secure it in place using four M4 by 12 screws. For the harness section, please refer to the user manual to connect the spindle motor, x-axis stepper motor, y-axis stepper motor, and z-axis stepper motor to the motherboard module, as shown in the diagram. A link for the digital manual for the CNC engraver can be found in the description below. Once the harness is confirmed, attach the motherboard cover to the motherboard module using four and three by six screws. Now let's insert the ER11 spindle motor chuck into the spindle assembly. Narrow in first, then insert the milling cutter into the ER11 spindle motor chuck and screw it into place. Now at this point, you're ready to prepare your project. We will cover this more in detail in the next video, and in the meantime, have a great rest of your day.